Hello everybody, Average Gamer, welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as China. So, um, been doing some thinking, and one of the things I want to do in this game is kind of role play a in this ep in, in these episodes a more peaceful country right because we're doing our uh, in south sudan we're trying to be the aggressors here as china we're trying to be a little bit more well nicer um so what i've decided to do is something that a lot of you might look at as uh, a massive change um in the way we're playing right now but um, I look at it as, um, a good change, um, a, a modification, a, 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 a switch up, so to speak, of how, how we're going to be playing this. Um, what I'm going to do is once I'm done the war with South Africa, or in South America, I'm actually going to release, um, a whole bunch of these countries, um, including our, our invasion, we're going to go to war, obviously, with Egypt, um, and take all their territories, but we're basically going to release all these territories here. Uh, we're going to release pretty much all of this once we have it controlled. Uh, we're going to release everything down here. We're going to release these territories. The only thing we're going to keep is these, well, these territories here. So we're going to keep Mongolia, Russia, and our three original puppets. We're going to keep them as well. Um, everyone else, we're going to let go. We're going to give them independence. We're going to say, go have at her. Um, go do your thing. That way, at least half of the world is going to love us in a matter of one, one swift, one swift motion. Uh, it looks like Egypt, or sorry, uh, Italy is about to take Greece from the looks of it. No, not really, actually. No, they're not even that close. So, But one of our plans is to obviously break up uh, Egypt here, because Egypt is just now too big for its own britches, because um, we can actually get the Bosphorus and both the Suez canals now in their, under our control. Um, we can't get the Panama Canal under our control because the Americans control it, but we do also control this area here, which is pretty good. Um, Muscat and Oman control... Those islands? Interesting. But yeah, so our plan is to liberate all of these countries. Once we're done with this war here, we're going to withdraw all our forces. And we're going to tear down the wall in the west here. Um, we're going to move further east. Um, a lot of these military bases that we have are... If I'm not mistaken, we have to tear them all the military bases. If I'm not mistaken, we have to give up. Um, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, so we're going to move back into Russia. Russia, we're going to keep no matter what. Just for the sheer amount of um, you know, resources that Russia has, as well as, as well as Mongolia. But the plan is to give everyone else their independence back. And um, obviously put in power the governments that we want to be in power. So, with that in mind, we're going to continue our war down here and put in power, obviously, who we want and then uh, end this war. Speaking of which, we're going to do a big push towards the capital here. We're going to keep on regular play here. Uh, we've lost some aircraft, which I'm not too worried about. And there are some diplomatic failures, so to speak. I'm hearing warships, but I don't know where they're... Oh, right here. I think the Cubans are actually helping us out there as well, which is pretty good. In the meantime, our troops here, we're going to speed up a little bit. Just go to fast. Uh, aircraft can go back to base. Here. The Thud can help us do strikes there. Country's already gotten to the point now where we're going to be stupid powerful. And I will admit, 
the whole purpose of this mission, this game, is not to become the most powerful country or the most militant country in the world. It's just going to be to you know become a very powerful country, a country that everyone basically just just doesn't fuck with. I think those are all just offers for goods. Yes, it is. Some of these countries are offering us stuff. We did not have the necessary. Oh, crap. Oh, so we were short on... Uh, okay, well, good to know. Our... Uh, oh, actually, that reminds me. Our... Inflation is 2.8 and our GDP is 5,500. Which is pretty good. Units here still holding. Warships there hitting pretty good. What? Oh, I thought we captured that base for a second. I was going to say that doesn't make sense. Our supply is getting a little bit better here. We're going to move these guys out. Well, these guys are going to move south. Not too bad here. Keep moving as told. These guys are going to keep moving west. Going to move them to there. Remember, this isn't even our actual main military force. This is actually just a small, a small force. Get these guys going south. Oh, take that base too, please. I want this infantry unit to take that port. Uh, this one can move down to that town. Uh, that one can move. Oops. You can move there. Uh, the rest of you continue further south, please. Finish the barracks. The wolfhound is going to join them. Let's get these bombers down here to help support. Is there an airbase there? Oh, there was too. Ha! <laughs> uh, aircraft. Let me move in and take it. Yep. Hey, right, these guys are going to move back up here. These guys are going to move in with them as well. These guys are not able to get that far at all. It looks like they try to push back, so we're going to swing these guys around because there's nobody there to defend that that flank. Uh, 
These guys are going to capture the hydro dam here. Let's support. These guys are going to cut them off. And with the way things are designed, well, artillery, this tank's going to move here. Uh, this extra, well, no, I want an extra infantry fighting vehicle if I can get it. Go there, and the other one's going to go there. These guys are going to push and help basically this spot here momentarily. You are going to move up to that spot. You are going to move up to there, and you guys are going to continue on the flank. Fire control upgrades have been done to our military forces, so that should help some stuff. Uh, yeah. We're not going to trade in consumer goods for the next little bit. Which happens every now and then. These guys are going to go up on the road. Uh, SA2 is going up there. We're doing pretty good so far. There are lots of fighting still. I don't know where. I think it's down here. Yeah, it's down here. Because Argentina and Peru are fighting pretty, pretty heavily. Okay, we're going to send one infantry unit towards Esmeraldas. We're going to get our aircraft ready to hit just in case. Nope. You're going to go there then. Want the rest of you to go to this base. The tank's going to go there, and this recon unit is going to go there as well. Aircraft, cancel out, go back to base. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We have almost the entire southern section of the country captured. It's actually going a little easier than I was expecting. Well, the Russians put up a bigger fight than these guys. The former capital has fallen. Okay. Wait. What was Ecuador? I think I'm Lima. Lima is... Yeah, Lima is all over here. I don't know why I was thinking the capital of Ecuador was Lima for some reason. Let our supply build up. Take a little while for our supply to kick in, which is no big deal. How is our spending on our infrastructure anyways? That's still pretty good. Surprised the lack of roads here. No to consumer goods. A 
all the roads we're building. Wow, that's still a lot of uh, ground units engaged here. Why are you red? Were you hit by a missile? No, no one hit by a missile or anything. Hey, we've taken all the southern territories that we need to. We're going to take our aircraft and send them back up to the airbase up here. And that road is now secure again. Well, the game just froze. Well, I'm going to tell them to go there. These guys are all going to go to this base first. And once they surrender, it's going to be pretty, pretty entertaining. How is our production for everything here? Well, the amount of ground troops that we have actually active right now, I'm kind of surprised at the lack of supply that we need. Then again, they're probably super efficient right now. So these units are going to come here, and then I'm going to help redeploy them. In the meantime... I have an amphibious tank and mortars, but I don't have any amphibious fighting vehicles here, do I? I don't. I've got one. Do some airstrikes. Did I just lose? I didn't lose an aircraft. Okay, I thought I lost an aircraft there for a second. Uh, air, please go back. We can capture that town. There we go. Yep, they're going to come back. And once they're back, we're going to start another... These guys can probably push in now, can't they? Yeah, there's no point in even committing aircraft to that attack. This one, though, there should be. Because these guys are going to push up. And that should... Yeah, there we go. I don't know why these mortars are going over the river when they can just go over the bridge faster. No big deal for the supply loss. Uh, no to everything else, or no to consumer goods sales, but yes to everything else. In the meantime, look at that. Our supplies already pretty much pushed them out of that entire ter that entire area of the territories. All right, now we're going to start up our advance from this direction. We're going to get our infantry fighting vehicles all in a row here. With tank and anti-tank weapons support. K-1 
Okay. Oh, my short and uh, there it is. If I go all and I just give you, you and you, go there, please. Tank. Oh, and I'm short anti another anti tank. Chili still owes me money. Do I have one thing of artillery around here? I do. Right, so the artillery is going to stay roughly in the middle of the group. AA is still going to stay around this airbase. Uh, they want to buy timber. Sure. All right, so here is our next, in our, we'll call them... Uh, Advanced group, they're going there. These guys are going there. These guys are going down here. I think we've already just demolished their military. I'm pretty sure I can push in now to their capital. It's Caracas, right? Caracas. And see what happens there. Let's keep pushing. Now we've lost some supply. There we buy wood from us. Sure, another research breakthrough. We didn't have the resource. Oh, it's probably. Oh, we lost our first unit. Look at that. <laughs> I'm kind of happy. I'm like, hey, we lost the unit. using our aircraft. Oh, let's keep pushing. Whole military goods, sure. Uh, they might surrender at midnight. Where did they move their capital to? Oh, they didn't even move that far that far away. 
<laughs> well, these guys are going to go here. These guys are going to push up all the way to there. These guys are going to push up like a soul. We're going to up the speed a little bit here. Meantime, ground units, all of you, I want you to push this way, please. Okay. We're now going to reposition our troops a little bit. So they want to fight over here, so let's give them the fight that they want. These guys are going to secure this military base. Okay, they lost that capital. This one infantry is going to swing back. Capture those two territories. Coal, coal, and coal. Coal and coal. Wow, a lot of people want to buy coal from us. Jeez. Petroleum and timber. Yeah, we made 1.24 million already. We lost some antiquated tanks in the fight. Not too worried. Those two are going to stay there. These guys are going to swing north. Those guys are going to swing further south. These guys are just going to swing around this way. No consumer goods for the moment. Nope. Uh, some supply depots. Nothing too crazy. I want you to push up there. You there and you are going to fall in suit. You're going to fall behind. You guys, I want you to push up. Push down towards that town. You push down towards this one. Oh, I can't because you're all captured by that territory. Okay. So you are actually going to move. Yeah. You go as, further as, as far as you can. Okay, that's no big deal. Right, we're going to hold up with supplies there. Our supply is pretty good out here in the east.
I'm just gonna slowly move units up. And once this line of defense is set up, we're just going to basically just blow forward. Alright. We're going to annex. So our war with uh, Venezuela is over and done with. Um... So one of the ideas we wanted to do, obviously, was to give some territory away to countries that were involved in this war, obviously. So the first thing we're going to do, though, is our fighter aircraft. Our aircraft are all going to immediately come to this airbase here. Ground troops are going to withdraw... Okay, so we're going to hold up there real quick. Um, so the naval flanker is going to go to the aircraft carrier. Crusader carrier, please. Demon carrier. Uh, this demon, that carrier. They're all going to be replaced later, but, you know, you're going there. Uh, that demon is going there, and we'll hold up that for the moment. Okay. Uh, this naval flanker is going to that carrier. Crusader. Let's tell it to go there for the moment. It will find its own way. That crusader, I'll tell it to go here. Thunder Chief, Strato Tankers, and all that stuff are... Good to go there. No. Cuban aircraft. Okay. So that is the end of this episode. In the next one, we're going to be doing a massive political change up. Um, or not even political, really. We're going to be moving the majority of our troops out of the territories that we control, um, like down here. Um, we're going to go to war with Egypt in the next episode. And uh, with that, I'm actually going to switch over this entire force. It's going to be moved into the Gulf. Um, what I want to do is I want to land troops right, right in here. And just totally catch them off guard. Declare war, immediately land troops in Egypt on their, on their capital, and just roll. Alright. So, what I'm going to do now is highlight all the ground troops. And just tell them I want them to sea transport uh, to there. I'm just going to agree to all that. We're going to agree to that. Well, one thing we're going to do too is we're going to go into theater mode. Right click, theater control. I want it, the computer to fix everything. Um. That way, when we actually give everything away back to the countries that we want to give that stuff to, um, they're going to basically have whatever they want. So our ground units should be moving out. Our warships, on the other hand, I want to get them to kind of... get in good position. kind of position themselves around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure we're good for you know, all aircraft. We're withdrawing all these aircraft anyways. Um, we're going to fly these guys over here. 
They crash, they crash. I really don't care at this point. All aircraft. They really should land here, recoup, and then leave, so. Uh, we're going to bring more aircraft. Yeah, tell them to go there. Those are our bombers. They'll stop for fuel. Uh, we're probably going to give... Yeah, that's one of our... That's one of our Thunder Chiefs. <laughs> right, they're getting ready to leave. Our first naval force over there is getting in position. This second uh, naval force... Uh, naval ships only, please, is moving over here. And our invasion force for Egypt. Is on the way. Oh, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.